Guess who's back? Hey, hey, hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's been a few weeks, but uh, I'm still alive and I'm still kicking. Hey, welcome, everybody, to episode, what are we in now? Episode, like, 21? I think we're, like, at episode 21. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's see who's out there. Let's say hello to Sue Major. Hello, Sue. Uh, let's see who else we have in the stream tonight. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of it. Uh, we got the one and only Brian SFO. Tell all your friends. And he's uh, here in the same San Francisco Bay Area. Sorry, I'm looking away, but I'm trying to work with my little bit of different setup tonight. Who else we got up here in this house? I thought I saw. Oh, here we go. Here's Section. Hello, Section. How's it going? Good to see you. The one and only Greg Hybers is in the house. Thought I saw Kevin R. Kevin R. I thought I saw some about shrimp burrito. Save me one, maybe two. And uh, I'm sure we'll have more. Oh, there, there we go. Hello, Lady Cat. How are you doing? Our one and only chat, chat moderator. And yeah, we'll get back to a few more here in a bit. And uh, it's good to see everybody on this Thursday night. Boy, it's been a few weeks. Life's been busy. And um, yeah, I'm just glad to be here. Um, I'm feeling a little low-key tonight, so but that's all right. We'll, we'll get through this show. Talking about some planes, some model planes. We'll do some flight tracking. And uh, let's bring in a couple of my good friends. Let's bring the one and only Sal and the one and only Michael Namakos. What's up, fellas? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey, Doug. How are you guys doing, man? It's been it's been a minute. It's been, been a while. minute, but I've been good, you know, and I'm, I'm excited for some plane tracking today and yes, see sir. what that brings. Yep. Michael, how about you? Been good. Been doing well. Good. You're looking quite dapper. Yes, sir. Thank looks you. Looks like you got a fresh cut and a fresh yeah, shave. Yeah. Thank you. you You're usually well. wearing a beard, but uh looks like yeah, you got no, that no, trimmed no, down. No, yeah. Yep. Right on. Well, wow. It's been a few weeks, and um, yeah, I'm trying to get kind of back in the swing of things here for tonight, but it, it's nice to be back, and uh, we'll say hello to Fareed here. Hey, Fareed, how's it going? And we got Ramona Aviation. Hey, welcome. Welcome welcome to this little show we do here. Hey, and by the way, we want to wish Lady Cat a happy belated birthday. She had a birthday a couple days ago, so happy belated birthday to our chat moderator, Lady Cat. Hope you had an excellent birthday. All right, guys. So let's get into some news. There's been quite a bit of news since we've been uh, since we've been uh, not here. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, uh, a lot of the stuff going on in aviation, particularly in commercial, has uh, been all the stuff with Boeing. And this week, their CEO uh, put in his resignation, I believe, for the end of the year. And I believe a couple of other of their higher ups. I think it's the director of commercial commercial aviation commercial airplanes also submitted his resignation i think one more other person and gee i wonder why <laughs> did you guys hear about these uh resignations yep yeah michael hey, what do hey. you think about it um overdue <laughs> <laughs> overdue <laughs> yeah sal what do you think when you heard about these resignations i i heard um I was expecting it, but I was actually I was expecting it sooner um, than this. But I mean, I mean it happened. 
yeah, I don't know, but hopefully the the culture of the company changes, not just with just because they bring a new CEO, you know, but the whole the whole company changes their their focus. Right. Yeah, I think I think the big thing is is um, it seems like they were trying to produce quantity over quality, and that um, has turned out to bite them in the rear end. Unfortunately, uh, before COVID. They did have those two Max 8 crashes where hundreds of people lost their lives. And um, then all the recent events lately, thankfully nobody has gotten hurt in these recent events, but still there's, there's no excuse for it. And um, now, now <laughs> the CEO's resignation, uh, did you guys hear what his payout's going to be when he, uh, when he leaves? I didn't. $24 no. million. Dollars. Oh, man. Guy shouldn't get a penny for all I'm concerned. I mean, really, he shouldn't get nothing. But, you know, you know how it is. They have these big contracts and, you know, they, you know, they get, they get what they want. So, but um, I hope, I hope in the coming uh, months and years that they get their act together. Because honestly, right now, uh, I for sure wouldn't fly on a Max. And um, I am not sure if I'd want to fly on any of their newer planes. Honestly, I'd probably feel safer on some of their older planes. And as long as they're not um, part of United's fleet. Well, which, uh, I've flown, I've flown <laughs> on the Southwest. Flown so. and a United Max before. What's that, Sal? I've flown on a United Max. Oh, man. <laughs> it, was, it was fine. I mean, it was after those two incidents that you, that you, that you said. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. um, it was, I mean, it was in the back of my mind, but I mean... They were fine. They were approved by by the FAA. So yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. I, I flew on them. <laughs> uh -huh. It was okay. Well, Michael, you got to fly on a. Um, you finally got to fly on a Southwest Max several months ago. Yeah, I mean it was it was nice. I mean that was before obviously the Alaska incident, but um, but yeah, it was. I mean it was a nice plane. So um, I don't think I would do it on a United, of course, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know you. You won't. You won't, you just don't like to fly United. Period. Yeah, if I have to, I'll fly in like a E one seven five or something. But yeah, <laughs> I must. Uh... Yep. Yep. And speaking about United, uh, Salad passed the story on to me. I think yesterday about uh, what was it? Uh, was it a Max eight or Max? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I guess what plane exactly it was. It was I think it was an A three twenty. Was it? it? Three twenty. I forget what it was, but uh, United plane that was climbing out of SFO supposedly hit a drone. Ooh. And, um, man, I tell you, man, it just seems like United is having the worst, I mean, I don't want to say the worst luck, but they're having quite a few problems with planes that are coming out of SFO. How did they hit a drone? I look, when it's take, what, what runway did they take off from? Do you know? Uh, I want to, from, from one, one, was, uh, one right all over the water. That's weird. Yeah. Well, yes. But the official report is, is that they hit a bird. Oh, okay. Well, that's the official but, report? Oh, not that, but, uh, that's, yeah, that's what the official report is. Now, they hit a bird, but is a bird going to, like, break the window or, or break? I think it said the, they had a broken window or something. Maybe the maybe feet first. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> feet first. <laughs> you, you, know, you, know the, you know the geese that hang around at SFO? The ge yeah, yeah. Yeah. Out, yeah. Yeah, but maybe it was a big geese that was flying straight towards them, and they could and they have heard been. First, and then, I don't know. I, I mean, if it was a you know bigger bird that weighs a lot and you know smacking it at a couple hundred miles an hour, I mean, it's possible. But either <laughs> way, they they hit something, and thankfully nobody got hurt. They were able to turn around and come back. But man, I'm telling you that uh, United just they're just you know going through the ringer right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. But on to some better news. Um, Southwest is finally going to launch some red-eye flights, uh, which uh, are also known as overnight flights. And I never knew that they never uh, have had overnight flights before. And so here in the next couple of years, they're going to start overnight flights from the mainland of the United States over to Hawaii. Um, but they said it's probably going to take up to two years to start those flights. Um, yeah, I, I think that'd be... You know, I guess there, there's competition, so... Um, well, Sal, what do you think of that uh, announcement? I, I didn't know that they did not fly. Like you, like, I didn't know that they didn't fly um, red-eye flights. I assumed that all the, yeah, uh, that all the I, airlines I, I, flew red-eyes, because it makes sense 
to leave LAX at night and you get in the morning to like the the, the, the East Coast, like Florida and New York. It makes sense. Um, I just didn't know that they didn't do that. Yeah. But wait, if they're going... How does that work? Wait a minute. Usually, how would that work going the other way, though? Usually, well, like, I... red eyes from the west go west to east, not east to west. So, wait, no, are I these going to go eat. from... Oh, wait, are these going to go from Hawaii back to the main? I don't know. That's what Maybe, I thought. I don't know. Thought you meant. Hawaii to the mainland, they'll leave at, like, 8, right? Which is that's right. It has to be, yeah. Uh, the time, and then it'll arrive at, like, 5 a.m. or something. That's right. Yeah, because I was thinking, like, wait a minute, how's that going to work? Well, if it leaves at 10, it would be 1 a.m., and they'll arrive at, like, 6 or 7 in the morning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, I never, you know, I didn't realize that, mm-hmm. you know, every night they, you know, their planes were shut down. So. I mean, it's the same um, thing as on the East Coast, right? So five hours flying over. Yeah, from yeah. Hawaii back to California. Yeah. Or um, I think they said the flights were going to start from either Las Vegas or Phoenix. I can't remember. Yeah, a similar amount of time. I mean. Something like that. But it, I think that's a... That's some good news. And uh, here's the uh, best news that I've seen this last week. Uh, and the best looking news was this uh, new Delta A350. Oh, yeah. Uh, with the Los Angeles Olympics uh, 2028 livery. Um, this photo was taken um, at the Airbus factory in France. Yeah, no and it's still, it's still waiting to have its engines put on. But, man, that is a beautiful livery. I mean... Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, that's that's nice branding. Heck yeah, I like it. I mean, I love the colors, and uh, man, it's just Delta's what I, liveries, yeah. Check it out. How they're using the Delta widget for the L in LA. Smart. smart I idea. like that. That is super cool. What do you guys? What do you think about this one, Sal? I was going to mention that that I would, and you know how like it says LA with the Delta. Uh, maybe highlight the Delta sign with the white. Like a little white line. Oh, oh, like out. a like a stroke. Was, what they call stroke. Yes, that's the only thing that I would change. Just mm. make make it white, like a white uh, outline uh, from the Delta logo. But uh-huh. other than that, it's good. I think it's great, and I'm assuming up towards the front of the plane, those are some palm trees, and I can't you can't quite see from this angle what else is up there. But I think this is a sharp looking plane, and uh, looking forward to hopefully. Uh, can't wait to see this one when it gets in the air. What do you think of it, Michael? You like it? I like, yeah, I like it a lot. Um, the, yep. the accent of the um, the Delta on the A. And, uh, of course, I'm from L.A., so I'm biased <laughs> that uh, the Olympics are going to be here. So, yeah, it's yep. beautiful with the night yeah, sky. Kevin R. said he'd love to see this livery cover the whole plane. Uh, um, no, nah, I think it'd be too overkill. I think I think they nailed it just right. Yeah. I think it's a, good. It's just mix. nice. Yep. Hey, Vince. Uh, oh, wrong one. I want to say hello to Vince S. Vince S. is here. Okay. Hello. Good evening, oh. sir. How are you doing? She came on. Let, let's uh, take another quick look in the chat. See, uh, oh, Karen is here. Hello, yeah. Karen. Hello, she hello. says she loves that livery. I do, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. And, oh, Aussie Pete. I, yeah, Aussie Pete's here, and I think Aussie Pete's having a birthday. So happy birthday, Aussie Pete. I think I saw that on Facebook that it was your birthday. So happy birthday. And uh, I think we said hello to everybody else so far. Tough man, Beanie. Vince likes yep. that. <laughs> yep. So, uh, Sal, I got a quick question. What does a duff stand for on your beanie? You know what I, it is? No, I don't. I'm serious. I don't. What? Uh, you know what about the Simpsons? No. Oh, how, my. <laughs> how, how, dude, I'm old. He's old. I know. That's what I whisper, but he said it already. Like, <laughs> dude, I'm old, man. I don't know. It's what Homer drinks. Dude, like um it's to be cartoon, beer. cartoons for me are like Popeye and Tom and Jerry and Popeye, stuff like that. <laughs> Popeye and Tom and Jerry stuff like that. So those are my kind of cartoons. I would say uh, look look at a uh, AJ Smith's uh, comment and sections. <laughs> oh uh hey there's AJ. Oh uh, it's, it's red. Yeah. It's, it's red. Good to see you, AJ. Uh, I think I mentioned on the last show, I met AJ at the SFO collectible show. He came oh, yeah. out all the way from the East Coast. Wow. So it was good to, good to oh, meet, yeah. meet him there. And All right. Well, everybody said it's beer, so <laughs> yeah. all right, whatever. <laughs> well, why doesn't, Hol- beer, why so doesn't Homer count. drink like Budweiser or Modelo? It's fake or... Budweiser, Duff. It's supposed yeah. to be it's red. It's supposed <laughs> to be Budweiser. Oh, my like God. Bud regular, not Bud Light. Yeah. I, okay. I, okay. <laughs> 
I didn't know. I didn't know. Saul, you were a uh, you were a uh, Simpsons fan. Yeah, I like The Simpsons. <laughs> okay. Well, the old Simpsons, the new ones. It's just like I don't know about the new yeah. ones, but the old That's ones right. are good. They're still uh, they're still producing that show, if I remember right. Yeah, they are. Supposedly, the wow. Ones, like, yeah. I'm like, eh, some some are are okay, but the old ones are good. Uh huh. New season's good, supposedly. That's what I hear. Who did I see that? Oh, I saw somewhere somebody was making a huge like Simpsons donut, like some donut shop or something. You know, uh, uh, I know the I know, with sprinkles um, or whatever. Randy's in uh, in L.A. They have the big old like pink donut, but yep. they don't have it. Like they don't call it the Simpsons donut. It's just a huge donut. Okay, I gotta admit, Randy's donuts I think are they're okay. They're not the greatest. Yeah, they're, they're okay. okay. I think it's just the novelty because the place is historic. It's been in so many movies and mm -hmm. TV shows. I mean, donuts are good, but I don't think they're like, like uh, super, ice cream. Super. Ice cream wins, right, Sal? So? <laughs> ice. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's yeah. dessert. But I, I agree. But I just like it because the big old donut is like three dollars. That's true. Uh -huh. it's cheap, it's the, at, at Randy's, it's like huge, but it's three instead of buy, so so instead of buying like two or three donuts, you buy yeah. one big one. Just and it makes your and it makes you makes you feel better about yourself only eating one donut, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah mentally. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big donut. Oh, 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 yes, Vince S. Oh, dude, totally rolling pin in San Bruno, which is just Holy and this man. donut shop is like close to SFO. Killer donuts. The rolling pin, eh? And the rolling rolling pin on, out of there. It, it's on them. San Bruno Avenue, on the other side of uh, the 101. I'm going from, to uh, I'm going SFO. To on my phone really quick. The yep. Rolling Pin. Rolling Pin Donuts, San Bruno Avenue, just across uh, 101 from the airport. They got really good donuts. Yes, Vince S., I agree. Um, you know, I've heard of Voodoo Donuts are supposedly one that's supposed to come into our town, but I don't know. It's Oregon. I, thing, huh? I mean, first of all, I, I really like shouldn't be eating donuts. So I don't eat them often. But when I do, I don't, I'm not into like having cereal or bacon and syrup and all that i just why is regular huh just a really good quality like you know chocolate donut or something's good enough but yeah we went from airplanes to donuts what's next uh -huh. we're gonna talk burgers <laughs> next sal i told you where i went the other day huh i told you where i went the other day for a burger here in town oh yes i do yeah, hey, yeah, yeah okay this is foodie hour real quick so oh my <laughs> In the town where Sal lives, there's a place called Super Burger. In the town I live in, there's a place called Super Burger. And it's the one here has been here like forever, never went. So last week, finally went. And it was like, it was really good. Then I asked him, hey, do you own the one, the same one that's in the same, you know, I told him the name of the town my friend lived in. They're like, yeah. The guy's like, yeah, my, own, my, uh, no, the, the young lady working in the front, she's like, yeah. She pointed to the guy in the back that his father owned that one. So, but it was, nice. it was really good. It was good. That's it was really good. Out. And, you know, and a lot of takeout people just, I mean, I was surprised how busy it was. So. Is that only in NorCal? Super, I never heard of that. I think it's only where Sal lives and where I live. Yeah. It's not it's a really big chain. I think, they only have, Goal, I, or, I think they yeah. only have two locations. So. Next time we're over there, we'll go. Yeah. They, have, yeah. they have this uh, puffy French fries that are super good. Oh, the uh, Chris Crut. Chris, 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 yeah, uh, Chris <laughs> Cut, yeah. Yeah. Anything. I can't even speak right now. All right, let's get back to planes. Enough of burgers and donuts and beer. <laughs> Boy, what what a stinking what a combination. Uh, I want to say hello to a few friends over on Facebook. Hello to Bill and Vance and Diane. Thank you for checking us out. Yes, Bill, we did go to Randy's. I remember that. <laughs> that's when we got lost. Well, I got lost on the five. Um, I took a wrong turn. We ended up on the ten. Uh -oh. We were supposed to be going straight down five to Anaheim for a baseball game. I I don't know. Yeah, I got in the wrong Eddie. lane. Oh boy! <laughs> got in the wrong lane. Ended up on the ten westbound, and uh, we're like, okay, well, we can go in through the four hundred five. And it's like, hey, we, let's stop at Randy. So, oh, there you um, go. so, so we game? turned a we turned a negative into a positive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to get lost on Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, anyways, let's get back to some planes. So. Um, so um, let's see. We've been doing a segment um, showing off some of um, some of your uh, some of our viewers' um, model airplane collections, and we have some more tonight. We're going to get back into that tonight. So let's see what we have got. 
uh, lined up in the old photo queue. All right, let me see. All right, so uh, we got a, we got another batch from MJ Scanlon, and um, these were really cool. So he sent us, and I let me read the email real quick. I'm not sure if he said these were his or they were part of his father's collection, but either way, these are super cool. These are old when it was actually called Federal Express in the super old livery. And uh, these are uh, part of MJ's collection. And um, this one is a uh, MD-11. And uh, I used to love the old purple and red and white. Um, that was just, it was a really cool livery. It's very retro. And I wish they would do a, um, they would do a retro livery. So um, I don't know, was this before your guys' time? Michael yeah. and Sal? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember it. Not before. Okay, see? That proves to you that I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> so this was the MD-11 that MJ sent. And let's check out another one he sent. Uh, 747. Um, I, that's probably an old... I, I think that's actually an original 100 series. Um, you can see where it has little windows up on top, probably for the crew area. And um, yeah, these are some really cool models. We've got now, this is a DC 10. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, you know, before uh, FedEx retired their last ones, they were called MD 10s. They're still DC 10s to me. I don't care. They can call what they want. But anyway, so this is a DC 10 and um, yeah, had windows. <laughs> and then uh, finally, uh, 727 uh, nice. Federal Express. So very cool, cool very cool. And uh, thank you, MJ, for those. And then section, uh, we have some from section here. And let's check this out. Ooh, ATA, 25th oh. anniversary, 727. Wow. That's, yeah, that's very cool. I remember seeing ATA at uh, SFO and San Jose uh, out here back in the late 90s, early 2000s. And um, I don't think they, they didn't fly the 727s out here. They flew, they had... Um, they had some L1011s that they I think they used for charters, but we had mostly see 757-300s out here um, with ATA. Um, let's see what we have next. The Hawaii Express DC-10. I've never heard of this airline. What is that? Wow. It's a DC-10. <laughs> okay. uh, but I've never heard of this airline. Um, maybe if somebody in the chat can... Maybe and lightness, it would be cool, but um, that's a very interesting livery. I mean, I mean, it's really cool seeing like something for the first time. It's like, wow, I didn't know that existed. As a passenger airline, I thought it was cargo. No, it's passenger. Yeah, it's passenger. Yeah. Yep. So that's very cool. All right, let's see what else uh, section sent to us. Let's see where am I? Here we go. Um, this is a UPS MD11. And Lady Cat, the reason I knew is because it has winglets. <laughs> it has winglets. Right. That's very cool. Uh, what can Brown do for you? I think we got one more from section. There we go. Scandinavian. Ooh, SAS. Nice. SAS, uh, it looks like an A330-300. And uh, he's got the picture on the, uh, on the screen behind him. So that's, that's pretty cool. I like that's pretty creative. Uh, Pretty creative little uh, deal on the photo there. So, Same hey, time. section, thank you so much for sending those in. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, wait, did I? We have one more? Oh, I'm sorry. We have one more. Uh, um, this is ATA um, in their in an older livery. I don't know if this is their original livery, but I just uh, a moment ago spoke about the L1011. But, yeah, there's uh, American Trans Air L L1011. Um, what airline does this guy, uh, does this... Um, I'm sorry, what livery does this uh, remind you of? Cool. TWA. Ding, ding, bit. ding, ding. You win. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. It reminds me of no TWA way. as well. Yeah. Kind of looks like it. Yeah. It kind of looks like TWA. But, it uh, does. Yeah. Like the tail. Yep. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, the L1011s, they used a lot for uh, charters, like military charters. But back in the day, here in the SFO in the Bay Area, they used to have. Um, um, a travel deal called what's it called? Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays or something like that. And they would charter these L1011s from ATA. And from what I understand, man, they used to jam. I mean, 
it, they were all one configuration, you know, economy. And uh, they had hundreds of seats just jam-packed. So they could just jam-pack as many people in these planes that they legally could. And, um, yeah, you would buy these holiday, you know, packages to Hawaii. And you'd fly on these ATA uh, L10s from SFO down to Honolulu. So, but yeah. Hey, Section, thank you. It for was a former TWA. Oh, uh, that's why. Oh, was it? Oh, well, that yeah. explains it all. Wow, I had no idea. All right. Awesome. Well, Section, thank you so much for uh, sending these in. That's awesome. And if uh, anybody else has any um, models um, they would like to um, like for us to show, my email's down in the description. You could uh, email them to me, and we will put them on a future show. So, all right, let's see what's going on in the chat real quick before we move on. I want to just been it's been a couple long weeks. Just haven't really seen everybody, and I really haven't been over to Sal's uh, channel much lately. I've just uh, been really busy. Um, let's see who else is here. Yeah, Kevin, holiday packages to Hawaii. Yep, I think it was called Pleasant Hawaiian Holidays or something like that. No, they were not like American Airlines. This was like a really like budget airline. So that Hawaii Express was only in um, operation for one year. Oh, wow. Okay. 80, August 82 to December 83. For oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it had 747 100s, which is a true thing. Okay, so it was uh, 100. All right. Awesome. All righty. Let's see. Oh. Section said they had a lounge downstairs on some of those L1011s. Wow. All right. What? Yeah, they had lounges. Wow. Dang. So is that you where they like got the... the... Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead. yeah, as I was going to say, like, you know how the the um, the A340s, 600s, they have restrooms downstairs? I was maybe, maybe yeah. happy, but instead of restrooms, it's, it was a lounge. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, the A380s all have lounges, too, I guess. Or do they all, or is it just, like, the Emirates and those guys, or do they all have the lounges? I think they have, like, well, Emirates, for sure. They have the mini lounge on top, you know, in the, in the first. Yeah. First, on the upstairs uh, uh -huh. section. Doesn't Qatar and Etihad have them as well? Yeah, I think. I don't know. I don't Emirates, know for them. sure, yeah. They have the bar. Sure. Uh, not sure. I don't know if Qatar would have a bar. Maybe a dry bar. Oh, that's true. Uh, well, Emirates isn't a dry bar either? No. Uh, I no, think no, you can have alcohol. Yeah. Oh, okay, Dubai. Oh, different Bastions, different, uh, different cultural. Country. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the country. Oh, here we go, Vince S. Yes, Sun Trips and Pleasant Holidays. Yes, those are them. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Sun. Oh, I forgot about Sun Trips. All righty. Yes, Sun Trips. Dang, that brings me back to when I was a kid. I think seeing all the commercials on TV and stuff. So, all right. Well, you guys ready to do a little plane tracking and uh, see where some of these, well, not these planes. Those planes are all retired, probably yeah. probably all scrapped and gone by now, sadly. But, um, yeah, let's do some plane tracking. So, yeah. let's go over the, um, before we get started with the plane tracking, let's go over the guidelines in case we may have forgotten um it's going to be one request per person at a time and let's get some little bit of tunes going here one request per person at a time and then you can make your next request after your previous request has already been tracked and uh tonight um we're going to go with a maximum of three requests per person and let's have fun and be patient. All right, so let's, um, so you guys can start getting your requests in the chat while Michael gets his uh, pen and paper ready. And we, in the meantime, we're gonna say hello to, to Cat's Meow, who has joined us this evening. Glad to see you here this evening. Um, all righty. Um, in the meantime, Karen says she heard Qatar doesn't serve liquor. Yeah, I think that's right. Michael said if it was a bar, it'd be a dry bar. <laughs> yes. Um, let's see. 
section, I saw pictures of the L1011 lounges, a lot of shag carpeting, definitely 60s and 70s. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> all righty. All righty. Okay. Let me open up. Lost, lost. Let me uh, get flight radar open up while well, Michael's still working on some of those. And here. Okay, I've got that ready. Um, all right. Yep, tonight's gonna just has been a little those of you may came in late, a little bit more of a chill show tonight. Um because I'm feeling chill a little bit on the tired side, but um, but it, it's still good to be here with everybody. I'm just trying to relax a little bit <laughs> and just have some fun. So, um, all right, let's share our screen and um, all righty. And I always start off, um, I always have flight radar set to my local area. Um, those who don't know, I live SFO area, San Jose, Oakland area here in California. I, if you could see my cursor, I live down in this area, just south of San Jose. And this is flying right by me right now. Let's see what this is, Southwest 737, 700 coming from San Diego. Oh, okay. But let's see, um, I wonder if the A300 FedEx is there at San Jose. FedEx 540, no, that's not it. Um, I guess it's not there. Oh well. Yep. Every, on occasion, get the uh, FedEx A300 there at San Jose, and it's a smaller airport, but still, it's got good traffic. There's some good, good plane spotting to be had there. Oh, look at Vietnam's coming into SFO right now. Ooh, Vietnam. Oh. Yep. Just made the turn. You should be able to see it soon, Sal. Man, it's Sal. Early. <laughs> Is it early, really? Well, is it? 5.45, right? Or something? Or six. Uh, What's the scheduled arrival time? 6 p.m.? Okay. Oh, my gosh. It is. Oh, it's wait. Wait. Scheduled. Yeah, it's a little early. Just a little early. Yeah, Sal. SFO's become, like, literally your second home. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Don't think first home is like flight radar? Or what's the changes? Oh, yeah. So when I opened up flight radar a while ago, they made some changes. What was the changes? I haven't um, this. the label. So, oh, um, at least on, for me, on the computer or on the app? Though? Well, on the oh, I use a computer, obviously. Yeah, but, but. you can see right here. Um, oh, this that's is like a new um, what you call label, I guess, for the, uh, the flight. I, I wonder if I on the app, I like it. Like that too. Let's see. Yeah, but yeah. um, and I like it because it shows me um, the information a lot better. Um, but yeah, Sal, your second home, SFO. So I always know when Sal comes to town, he always messages me. Hey, you want to see an a FedEx A300? A what? Uh, a FedEx A300? Sure. Where at? Uh, LAX on runway 25 right. Oh, is there one? All right, let's it's see. It's about to take off to Santa Ana. All oh. right, let's see it. Oh, that's right. That's that short flight. All right, let's see. What? What's it on 25 right? Yes. All right, let's push in. No labels until you film that. Is that it right there? There it is. Yep. It's it's uh, starting its roll. How old is this one? This one? Oh, sorry. This one is 29 years old. Hey, it's still young. It, I was going to say, that's, <laughs> actually, that's not too old for an A300. <laughs> uh, and I bet that thing's already in the air. Yep. They cut that out one request at a time, dude. Oh, Cause that, that thing is empty. Um, yeah, it so, says one fifty. It's a, yeah, it's already in the air, yep. dude. It's already one thousand feet. Well, it's only going to Santa Ana, and that's a short runway. So yeah, AJ. Um, so far it's okay. I mean, I just barely opened it up a while ago. Um, so anyways, yeah, yeah, guys, one request at a time, and then once we get that request, then you can request another one. All right, all right. Um, first, Kevin, are you know the rules? I, think, I know I think you've already put you in already. Because he gave me all letters, and now he gave me the flight number. I think oh, okay. I think that's what I'm doing. I just like to pick on Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, let's uh, let's start with one, Michael. Okay. Uh, one second. While I drink my Gatorade. 
We're not sponsored by Gatorade. We're sponsored by me. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ramona, who's new? All right. Um, we Ramona. have, um, let's see, November 915. November, November. November 915. November, November. Oh, here we go. American Airlines. Oh. Oh, no oh, way. Oh, yes. speaking at ah, TWA. Wow. Wow. So we're just talking about the uh, TWA. Yeah, that's funny. It looks exactly the same, right? It, it is. I mean, so yeah, that that ATA was a indeed wow. a former uh, TWA. So this is the TWA retro, uh, the American Airlines TWA retro plane, and uh, it's going from where Mexico City to Miami. So it looks like it's on its final. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it's gonna land in about five minutes or so is miami in reverse operations oh well, that's maybe there was are a they? storm there or something recently yeah it, it is planes hmm. are coming in from the beach yeah it's kind of weird oh so this thing's gonna come around and yeah get line there so yeah. they are reverse that's, that's right because when they when they depart they go right towards the the city and the beach yeah, yeah. yeah. yep you are right so they are in reverse ops and you were there what when were you there last year sometime right uh in may in may yeah almost a well, year ago the train dude the train is oh um yeah it's unpredictable so like if the train gets there then you're done <laughs> yeah i remember you were you said the train was there and you're like the train oh, was there man. for three days and it didn't move Jeez, yeah. really three days three wow. days oh my That's gosh wow um so yeah, that's a, not a very long flight. What is it from Mexico City? About two and a half hours? Wow, I, I thought it'd be a longer flight than that. Let's back out a little bit. Um, yeah, it's not very long. Oh, you would think it'd be longer, but it's not. Yeah, it's only about a two and a half hour flight. Wow, I thought that would have been a longer flight from Mexico City to Miami. It's oh. short, just across the Yeah. The water. Yeah. Yeah, just across the, the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf, yeah. All right, Ramona, thank you so much for that uh, request. And let's uh, check out what we got next. Okay, uh, Kevin R. Um, we got All right. Foxtrot uh, X-Ray 1366. <laughs> that was the one we just tracked. Hey, this is the one that we tracked. Yeah, yeah no, I was like... Well, let's take a look oh, at it again. It <laughs> oh, why, dude, why Sal, you... took, Sal took your flight. Well, try Is that XA? Is that X ray Alpha Victor Bravo uniform? Is that the same? Try that one. Or maybe no. he was just saying the registration for the plane. Okay, yeah, so try X ray oh, okay. Alpha. Dash, okay. Um, Victor Bravo uniform. Okay. okay. Ooh, Viva Aerobus. That's the one, yeah. That's... Okay, it's not in flight right now. Oh, but it's a special livery. Let's what check it out. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, man. Viva Aerobus. Oh, what is that? Oh. Nice. Tecate. Palmorte. Oh, Pal Tecate? Oh, I thought it was Tigres. It's, uh, it's Tecate Palmorte. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a Northern Mexican music festival in Monterey, Mexico. Okay. In 2024, so this, is, so this is a recent livery on this thing. Yeah. And there's the photographer's name, so they don't sue me. Uh, let's see what's what's part of this livery. I'm trying to see like what you know where the special part of the livery is on the back. I'm trying to make sense of what is it like people at the festival or I'm not sure. I really can't tell, but it's really colorful, which is cool. Yeah, uh, I do like the redder. I always like blue and yellow. They go together well. Yellow on blue goes together. It's well. like a bunch of stuff I can make it out. You can make it out? No, I, I can't. It's like a, like, I don't know. I don't know what it. Yeah. I don't know what it tried to, tried to say with that livery. The only thing I'm thinking maybe is it's. I think I'm seeing like people here and there. So maybe it's people at the festival. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't yeah. see the people. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, anyways, it's, it's, yeah. All right, Kevin. Thank you so much. Effort.
Yes. A lion. An E for effort, an A for effort. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's next? Okay. Next, uh, Greg Hybers. Um, All right, Greg. Hello, Greg. So we got Delta, Whiskey, uh, what's I? India, 333. Okay, what do we got here? Not sure. Aura Jet. I've heard of Oh, this is a, is this a South American one? Yeah, Santo yes. Domingo is in, in uh, it's Dominican Republic, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, and it's going Buenos to... Aires. That's in... Buenos Aires. Aires. That's that Argentinian or, or Dominican? Scroll down to the flag thing. Well, that's I Dominican. Think it's, I think it's Dominican. Dominican Republic, yeah. It is uh, yes. Dominican, yeah. Yep. And this is the one, uh, let's, I want to look at the plane. Uh, I think this is the one on the back. It looks like a chicken oh, <laughs> on yeah. the rudder <laughs> or <laughs> some kind of bird or something. But, yeah. um, whatever's Dominican's bird, right? <laughs> oh, is it? Is that what it is? Oh, okay. Probably. There's a lot of like colorful birds in the forest. Uh huh. And on the, um, up on the front, it has like a saying, Los, hold on. There's a photographer on Los Tres Ojos. Oh yeah, three South, eyes. South, South three eyes. Three eyes. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I only see one eye on the chicken back there. So. <laughs> There's only one eye. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the other two are hit up. Uh, yeah. But it's yeah. it's two eyes watching you and the one in the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Los tres ojos. Uh, uh, this is, I think, a fairly newer plane, probably. Let, let's go back. Eight hundred, right? Yeah, it's or a max eight. Max. Oh, no, max. no, it's a max eight. Oh, no, no, yeah, it's max. Yeah, yeah it's well, Engines four years big. old, and uh, it's still got. Oh my goodness, it's still got five hours to go. That's a long flight. Oh my yeah, goodness, Dominican seven and, and a half hours. Buenos Aires is way down there, dude. Compared to I didn't know the seven. max could fly that long. That's really long. Wait, seven, seven and hours and total? Seven and a half hours. Oh, wow, that's, that's pushing a limit right it's there, like dude. I think. Almost thirty-eight hundred miles. That's pretty far. Wow. So here's the only thing I could think of on this flight it's not fully packed and they got extra fuel yes that's what i was going to say yep let's uh let's google it to see let's uh, max it. range at 3550 how many miles did you say it was uh like 38 okay so it's not full for sure it's got extra fuel probably it's not full and they it, yeah and it's it might even be set up with extra fuel capacity yeah la to laguardia it's 2150 miles so it's farther away farther than that Oh yeah! Wow, I didn't think the Max could fly that far, but it's probably set up for long range. Alrighty, Greg, thank you for that one. And uh, Max Nine's the same; it's like thirty-four hundred. Yeah. All right, let's roll on to the next one. All right. Okay, next one uh, we have Vince S. All right. Got uh, November seven two six umbrella. Um, what's that? barely read my writing sierra all right thought it was a five <laughs> here we go oh this is gonna be a good one let's push in USA on jet. it usa jet going oh, that's from the one i fly to laredo yeah texas cargo. yeah the laredo i think it's a cargo the usa jet yeah those are cargos i want to look at this livery a little little uh closer yeah got little bubbles man you're not seeing very many of these old 727s anymore and look at how small the engines were but those things were powerful i mean really look at those wow. look at look at how small compared They're to small. i mean wow. compared to like they were loud oh loud and smoky <laughs> yep but it looks like they really um, probably keep this one maintained pretty well. Um, I like the livery on it. I think it's a pretty nice livery. That looks good. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Does anybody else like it, or am I the only one? I like it. Shoot, I missed. Yeah, it. why not? All righty, thank you for that one, Vince S. And where is it right now? Um, it's over. Over Arkansas? Yeah, over northern Arkansas. All right. Cool. Right on. All right. Next uh, one. Are we just advanced, right? Okay. 
Yes. Uh, bad dog. We got uh, Alpha, Zulu, Umbrella, two nine four. I think this is a five. My writing is terrible. Yeah, I think it's a five. Yes, Azul. Oh, that's Brazilian. Yeah. Oh, but it's a sp Ooh, oh, yeah. it's a special livery. It's a special livery. Yeah, Let's take a look at it. I want to take a look at it. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. It's a Disney World special livery. Oh my gosh, that's a that yeah. is a nice livery. There's no Disney's in Brazil. It's interesting to have a Disney World. Well, livery. they Airlines. fly to Florida. Hello. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, McFly. Have you ever heard of the state of Florida? <laughs> I've never been to Disney World. <laughs> I mean, neither. Azul plays to Florida. That's what I'm saying. Azul no, plays I'm there. Sure so. Miami, yeah. yeah. But uh, I love the livery, so. Is this so, one coming from Miami? Uh, where's it coming from? Let me go back. I thought it was in Brazil, but it. Mm, no, it's going from Victoria to. It's not even. Victoria is in Brazil. Isn't it? And going to Campinas. That's Brazil. Both of Brazil. Yeah. yeah so it's flying within Brazil. Br Brazil. Oh yeah, it's only like an hour and twenty minute flight. That's a short. Uh, well, I want to check out this livery again. Um, I love the colors: red, yellow, and front. black, and white. Yeah, let's see if nice. we can get a um, another. Oh, here we go. Side photo. For the side, at least. Yeah, there we go. Right there here. Go, there, there, go. there we go. Oh, nice. Not quite That's as shiny as the other too. photo, but. Hey, um, it nice. looks like Sal when he's smiling. That's a smirk. <laughs> it's literally what you're like. That smirk. <laughs> the <laughs> smile. Yeah. <laughs> Sal smile. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, and check it out on the rudder. That Mickey Mouse is a little bit more of a retro Mickey. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. The tune time, Mickey. That's a nice A A320 Neo. It is. And the Azul is a really like bold font, which I like. Yeah, look at the engine. You see, that's how you can tell it's a Neo immediately, huh? Yeah, yeah. the bit has a big engine, yeah. Well, no, it's pointed to on the. What well, is that yeah, called? That... The, the exhaust area. Oh, yeah, back here. That's pointed, yeah. Yeah. But, all right. Thank you for that one. Let's see if I missed any home. I'll say hello to a couple of people. I think I saw LA Girl was with us. Hello. It's good to have you with us here. Tonight, we're just chilling, doing some plate tracking right now. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, behind, I'm behind a little bit. Give me a second here. That's all right. That's all right. Chat go fast. I was looking to plan. Yep. That's all right. No worries. Uh, oh, section. Put one in there. Let's see. All righty. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. It's chill tonight because I'm chill. So I'm not as excited. It's well, I am excited. I'm just staying calm. It's good for me right now. That's some crazy music, huh? <laughs> I can't even hear the music on my end, so oh, that's why okay. you guys have like, to tell me. It's like crazy. Oh, I don't, I don't even hear it. That's the way my mixer set up. Okay. I can't hear it. Okay. Um, I have the next one. I think okay. I one. Um, All right. Next one we got. I just did bad dog, right? So Sue Major. Yes. Okay. Um, Alpha Six, I think. Dash. Bravo. Um. Bravo, Mike. Um. Uh, hotel. Okay, Etihad. Oh, you're not. Your screen's not up, by the way. Oh, not I lost up. the screen share. Yeah. Hold on one second, everybody. I apologize. Yeah, I'm not, I probably hit the wrong button. There we go. Yep. Are we there? Up. There we are. Yeah, you're on now. Huh? All right, it's Etihad. Etihad. Ooh, it's another special livery. We got special liveries rolling here tonight. This one's been from Abu Dhabi to Singapore. It's just about to land after. That's only a six hour and 20 minute flight. Wow. That's brilliant. Well, let's check out the special livery. There we go. This is the, oh, cool. what's this called? Oh, the Dreamliner livery? Never seen that before. Greenliner. Greenliner. We don't livery. get any, any hot here, so. Yeah, we right. don't. But um, I've never seen this one before. Didn't it used to come to LA? I thought. Or is it SFO? One or no, the other, right? Uh, it would have been LA. LA, LA but LA like years ago, before COVID, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. I think it was before COVID. One flight, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty cool livery. I like it. Wonder yeah. what they flew here. It was probably a 350. They called the Green Liner. 
Well, it could have, yeah, I don't know what they flew here. It could have been a number of different planes. Um, I'll tell you what, though, their A380 has like that, what do they call it, the apartment suite or something? What, really? Yeah, you, you haven't heard of that? Apartment suite? On their, oh yeah, on their A380s, they have, uh, it's called the apartment suite. Etihad? Like I that. thought it was Emirates that had like most. No, crazy. Etihad has it. Oh, which okay, is, I'm mistaken. Which it actually, from what I understand, blows away Emirates suite. One day. <laughs> the only, uh, no, no day for me. We can dream. We can dream here. That's uh, too rich for my, uh, too rich for my wallet. So yeah, that's a pretty cool livery. I like it. Yeah. Now, this is a, is this a Dash 9 or Dash 10? It is a Dash 10. It looked a little longer. Alrighty. Thank you for that one. Mucho appreciado. Okay. Uh, next. <laughs> Alright, what's next? That was two major. Yep. Next, uh, Brian SFO. We have okay. Alpha uh, Mike 244. Uh, Alpha Mike 244. Yep, there is nothing in the air right now for that. Okay. Yep, that might be a recent flight I mean, we can oh, look sure. to see where it was recently uh, yeah it's a uh, yeah it's a flight that goes between Mexico City and uh, Guadalajara but that flight is not operating at the moment but hey that's okay you still got two more shots there Brian if you tell all your friends they can get three shots as well <laughs> okie dokie michael what's next all right next uh ramona another one uh nancy uh eight two one alpha victory okay repeat that i'm sorry i got mixed okay. up here nancy uh i mean november eight two one alpha um victory mm. avianca oh speaking of avianca did you hear that they are going to have, you know how they have the, the cargo, the green cargo plane? Yeah. They're going to paint one of their Dreamliners green too. All right. Oh, I think I saw something about that. Yeah. Yes. Let's get a closer look at this. This is a Avianca special livery. This is the Costa Rica Laxa. Yeah, it's Costa Rican. Okay. And this is a, is this an A320? Is this a Neo? No, it's just a, it's not a Neo. But I've, ne I've never seen this uh, livery before. What does LAXA stand for? L-A-C-S-A, does um, any, I maybe Ramona might be able to tell us. That'd be kind of cool to know what it stands for. But yeah, that, that's, that's a pretty cool livery. All right, Ramona, thank you so much. All right, Michael. All right, next, uh, Albanor. Uh, Albanor, what's up? Let, let me guess. Right. Let me guess. It's it's Russian. Yeah, I can already tell. Uh, <laughs> Which is okay. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, Tango Uniform um, Papa uh, nine six four three. Super love, probably. I'm assuming. Nope. <laughs> uh, I just have to UP in it. <laughs> Uh, there we go. It's not at the bottom. Okay. What is that? Hold on one second. I need to send a message. It's yeah. Urgent. Okay. Okay. So this is. Um, so let's get a closer look. I'll be back one second, guys. Sir. It's a. Uh, what is this? This is a Via Star. Let's take a closer look at that. Oh, a Viastar Cargo. Oh, these are the orange and, and uh, silver. Yes, this is and this is actually seven seven five seven cargo. Uh, but it yes it but it is Russian. I have some. Record. Well, while well, we're waiting. Yes, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I was formed in, in October 17, 1945 with the help of Pan Am. Yeah. So what happened? Uh, uh, Laxa. Well, I don't, I don't oh, know what okay. it stands for, um, but Laxa. Um, 
was formed in 1945 with the help of Pan Am. So, yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. I am um, having to eat a little bit of chocolate. I think um, I think I know I'm a little too I'm a little too relaxed. I think my blood sugars dropped a little bit. Just sure. some medication I'm on, but we're gonna keep rolling. Just excuse me uh, <laughs> eating a piece of chocolate. Ramona, but no worries, I'm okay. It's Líneas Aéreas Costarricenses S.A. There we go right there. Yep, and Ramona brought it up for us too. Wow, that's, that's, thank you. Thank you, yeah. I had never seen that before. See, that's what I like about when we do these flight tracking and seeing stuff we, I've never seen before. All right, guys. Back. That's all right, Michael. It's a chill show tonight, guys. Yes, sir. Gals. Okay, what is it? Oh, you did the... Which one did you Yeah, do? what LAXA means, yep. Okay. Oh, what, is it, what does it mean? <laughs> I missed it. I'll bring it up again. Any uh, cell okay. and it's on the screen. Ah, uh, Costa de Cancers. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, what's SA? I wonder. But okay, who knows? <laughs> All righty. But yeah, but uh, anyways, getting back to Alvinor, um brought us a Russian Avaya Star. Okay, nice. Cargo 757. Ooh. And um, answer. it's obviously it's somewhere over Russia. Um, Ooh, where is it going? Uh, not available. It's going to the North Pole. It's going to nowhere. Yeah, it's it's headed to. <laughs> I don't know. Pole. Maybe it's going up here into northern uh, Russia Maybe, somewhere. Yeah. Bit. Well, how long has it been in flight? It's been um, not even. Well, it's not even saying that. Yeah. Well, it went from the other side of Russia, right? So it's probably. The long it could be going up here somewhere. I bet. Possibly. Yeah. Well, what's its? Uh, well, it's still a cruising altitude. So. What's up there? It's Siberia, right? It's like, yeah. Not that many people live up there, so cold. <laughs> that part of Russia, Siberia. Yeah, like here's the East Siberian Sea right up here. Uh, there's an island up there. Wow. There, I've never heard of the Anju, wild, Anju yeah. Islands. Oh my gosh. That's that's wild. Wow. That's like as north as you're gonna get. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And I've never heard of the Chukchi Sea over here. The plane Alaska? on top of Alaska, right there. What is that? This island? No, to the right. That plane at the very top of Alaska. I'm just curious. Right here. That. Yeah. That is a Who knows? something small. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, small. One. Uh, it's not available. Okay. Alrighty, thank you, Alvinor. Okay, next uh, mm -hmm. section we got um, the Yankee Alpha Dash, Charlie Alpha Victor. Charlie Alpha Victor. Oh. What do we got here? Ooh, oh, what is this? A three ten. This is Ariana wow. Afghan Airlines. A three ten. That's right. Going that from Jeddah like to minutes. Kabul. Oh, this is going to Afghanistan. Awesome. Oh, Afghan Airlines. Duh. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta say that to myself. Hello, McFly. Yeah. Wow. Let's get a closer look at this plane. Ooh. Oh. Huh. Wow. I've never heard of this airline before. Simple, simple but clean uh, livery for an A310. It looks pretty good. Man, you don't. I mean, you don't see A310s anymore. Man, yeah, not at all. Yeah, you just don't see sure. A310s. Sure. I mean, obviously, you know, you see the A300s with FedEx, and I think. UPS might have a few A300s as well, but but as far as passenger or A310 in general, you don't see them. So this yeah. is um only two. Not, not this is one. this is uh, quite a treat. All right, how long does a uh, let's see? It still has another hour and twenty two minutes to go on its flight. All right, section. Thank you so much. Okay, what do we got? Got uh, Kevin R, another one, someone. Uh, All right. Got X Ray Alpha Dash, Victor Bravo, I think uniform or Victor. I'm not sure. right. Either that. you or what? Or Victor again at the end. There it is. That's it. Probably that one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Viva, ooh, another Viva Aerobus. Ooh, the Juan Gabriel 
special livery. Oh. And this one is just about to turn land. Turn down a little bit. Yeah, I'll turn down a little bit. There we go. There we go. So, uh, so this is a special livery. Let's take a look at it. Uh, oh. That pink and that green do not go together. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was thinking. That's <laughs> ugly, dude. That does not go together, pink and green. Wow. No. Like, they could have done way better on this on that's delivery. Cool. Now, who is Juan Gabriel? Uh, artist. Mexican artist. I don't know. Yeah. Mexican singer. He looks, he looks like some kind of military person. On no, the maybe, rudder. Maybe that in that picture, but no. Oh, no. No illusion, Salvador? Sad. No what? You can't find any illusion planes right now. <laughs> illusion? Al Alvinor. Uh oh, <laughs> you can't find any Russian planes. <laughs> yeah. But it's yeah, just sad. Yeah. But yeah, this uh, this pink and green do not go together. That is ugly. No. So I'm going to give this one a thumbs down. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, no thanks. I mean, but it's cool. I mean, as far as being a special livery, I've never yeah, seen this plane cool, before. But make no, it yeah. a different color. Made it look nice. Yes. All right, Kevin Arthur. Still not as ugly as the stripes, though. <laughs> oh, don't, yeah, oh, don't get me started. Oh yeah, the eight hundred twenty-one Neo, right? With the stripes. With the red stripes, the oh, new one. Bring that yeah. up. <laughs> Go ahead, Sal. Tell us about it real quick. Right. Um. Well, they're just testing it out. They're they're uh, doing test flights on oh, fast. Okay. on the first eight hundred twenty-one Neo with red stripes for Condor. Yep. I saw it, and you know what? It doesn't look half bad. All right. It's not too bad. It's not too I bad. I told you stripes are nice. Not all of them. <laughs> but this one's <laughs> this one's not too bad. And I'm not into all the stripe stuff. But this one, it doesn't look too bad. It's, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. What what we got next? While well, Alvinor's okay. still trying to uh, find something. Yeah, Russian. bad dog again. We got uh, All Alpha, right. Sierra Lima five zero one. And before Ooh, you hear there's... something else, I'm gonna name that, I'm gonna nickname that plane Waldo, the red one. All right. Oh, Waldo. Sir? Waldo. Yes. That's the that, that's the that's the the Condor with the red stripes. I say three thirty. Oh. Okay, this is Air Serbia. Um, I think have something. we seen this? I think we may have seen Wing this one before, right? but, but I don't remember who the gentleman is on the rudder. I think is it somebody Tesla? had told oh. us one be once before. It's not Nicholas Tesla. Right? I I don't know. What? If they have, if they would have done something for Juan Gabriel like that, it would have been cool. Yeah, but what they did that that's an embarrassment. Yeah. That's an embarrassment what it has right now. Is this a 300? Because of the winglets, right? Uh, what does it say? It, yeah, let's go down. It is a 200. Oh, okay. It's got winglets, though. Right. Well, they both do. Okay. I, I, thought, yeah, the, I thought 300 only. Okay. Yep. Hey, uh, we let's. I think I saw Lady Cat had one in there. Uh, uh, yeah. We, uh, we haven't got around yeah, to her yet. Two more. Two more, and then her. Yeah. Okay, because we've already had a okay okay yeah i'm gonna do her before greg if greg already yeah had yeah let, yeah she hasn't had a turn yet okay, sounds good. all right thank you for that one we appreciate it bad dog okay so lady cats is uh november uh 385 uh foxtrot romeo frontier which one is it so it is nicholas tesla all right Nicola, mm. Lady Cat That's has me. oh Percy the Florida Panther. That don't look like a panther though. I like some of the frontiers actually. That looks like, cool. like a cute little like cheetah cub. Look at oh, oh the... it's a little cat. I don't think it I'd ever like... fly frontier, but I like their their liveries. Sometimes. That doesn't look like a, a panther. It looks like a, a little kitty that looks sad. <laughs> Wait, frontier doesn't have big front seats, huh? So Spirit's got that on him, I guess. No, but right. they're going to have start blocking the middle seat. Uh huh. To give you the the premium exp experience without. Oh, so if you're like. Without the seat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. They're gonna block the middle seat. <laughs> middle seat. Yes. To, so give, you, to give you a premium experience, wow. really? Yes, yes. So from no, here, you're in the dude. middle seat and the in the first row, so you know, to sell you the no tickets. No bus balls either, man. First Come class, you know, kind of thing. 
That's that's what it is. Lock the middle seat to give you the premium experience, man. That's no, just that's ghetto. The premium and experience thought, is being in a cockpit of one of those, dude. <laughs> that's the only premium experience on front. That's even place. worse than Spirit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's gosh. that's pretty bad. At least Spirit has good has more booze options and the uh, <laughs> Oh my god. Well and they have and they do have the big front seat on Spirit. Yeah, I mean they do. Not, yeah. Big front seats, it's com- like they look they look comfortable. To be honest, I'd find one of those probably for like an hour or two. Hey, but don't worry, Frontier, they'll block off the middle seat for you and charge you more. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. They make more off that probably because they probably don't like book middle seats very often. <laughs> probably. Smart. It's a smart business proposition. But getting back to Little Panther looks, looks oh, yeah. like a sad little kitty. So. Kevin, I think Allegiant is probably the better, the best of the Spirit and Frontier in those. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Uh, really you know what? Go on, go back on YouTube, and I think Jeb Brooks flew all three of them. And oh, yeah. was it Jeb Brooks and rated which of the three were was the best of the three? I like the um the U.S. Airlines one that he did with American United and um, Delta on the same day. It was interesting. I think Delta one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Thank you, Lady Cat. Okay, so that's Lady Cat. Appreciate that. Okay, next, uh, Greg H. again. All right. We got uh, Alpha Alpha Whiskey 971. Alpha Whiskey Whiskey. What do we have here? Oh, uh, it's an Afri something. Here we go. Uh, he's throwing us for a loop. Yeah, what Afri- is this? Afro, I can't Africa, pronounce just say that. Africa, dude. Just say Africa. Is that Africa? Af- Afro- Afro- yeah, Africa, probably. Afro- Africa, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah Africa, I think, yeah. Man, I've never heard of this one. What is that? And what is, is this? Russian? An 830? What's the white, red, and what is that? The red country? I can't even, I can't tell if it's a swamp. It is, um... I'm going to look it up myself on my phone. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Libya. Right. Oh, oh, Libya. Wow. wow, that's, okay, I've never, that's... that's okay, right. let's... Oh, that is let's, random. I want to get a closer look at this plane because I've never no, heard of this airline or seen it. So this is an A330-300. Now, you could tell it's longer than the 200. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it is longer. You're right. Yeah. Boy, talk about a plane livery. It's, it's a plane, plane livery. It's a plane, plane livery. <laughs> that's a good one, Sal. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Great well, throwing us for a loop. Anymore. Wow. Yeah, I've never heard of this one. Hmm. Dang. Well, there's other picture without it playing, if you look. Nine years? It's not that old. It's not that year. Yeah, nine years old. Check the um the other... um. There's one from today, March 28th. It has blue, uh, bl- uh, black and blue on the on the tail. In the livery. You mean uh, a picture? Other, yeah. Okay, let me go back. At the same flight number. Or eight, put, put eight uniform 971. Oh, wait. Try that. And then go to March 28th. And March then you'll see 20. the, I think the picture of it. Yeah, that's today. Yeah, try that one. Here we go. I think it should be the, yeah, there you go. There's the other photo of the non plane one. Oh. Looks oh. Oh, wow. that that looks a lot better. Yeah, it looks completely. Yeah. yeah, it's completely different. I wonder if it's a newer plane though. Possibly, yeah. Oh, it says uh, let's see. Aircraft info. But it definitely is a better looking plane. It's though. Nine years old. It's just... About the same age then as the yeah. other one. Yeah, fifty thirty. Interesting. Huh? So it's going to Libya. <laughs> uh, it or, is. Or let me go Libya, back. Let me south. go back over here. I think it was leaving Libya, right? It was. It wasn't saying where it was going. Yeah, to. it's going just south somewhere. That's by a river. Is that a no? Is it by a river? That big river is the Nile, the Nile? Assuming, right? Probably. Is it really? I mean, it's, it's only one big river in Africa, right? On it's the a, west, on that like side of Egypt. Africa. It's yeah, it's in Egypt right now. That's the Nile River, yeah. Wow, that's a big river. It's huge, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's got to be it. It goes yeah. down. Yeah, it goes down all the way. Wow. All righty. Okay, cool. cool. Was that was this Greg that uh, gave yeah, us Greg, this one? Yeah, Greg was. All right, Greg, thank you. 
That was okay. a good one. That's a good one. Did I miss anything? Hold on, I'm gonna check the chat real. Well, we can do the next one. And I'll check. Um, uh, another Alvinor. Um, I think we have. Um, let's see. We have Sierra Uniform, one seven one two. Russian. Oh, we got Russian. He's got us some. Finally, got us something Russian. Well, he did get us Russian earlier, but some Aero Float action, triple seven three hundred ER. And uh, I've obviously I've heard of Moscow, but I, I don't know what this other. Places. I'm looking around my camera. Yeah, I don't have my. I'm still trying to figure out my setup in here, which hopefully next month I'm gonna get it right. Yeah, hope so. But um, it still has another hour and fifteen. If we hit the route, it, oh, there, there, that. Now that's where it's gonna go to, right there. Oh, I uh -huh. see. Yeah. All right. All right, Alvinor. Thank you. I'm still trying to catch up. I somehow got way behind on the chat. One second here. I'm on, uh, oh, okay, there we go. Okay, hey guys, so I gonna... think we're gonna take. Uh, we're only gonna take about two or three more. Yeah, I'm gonna get AJ Smith in there because he has. Yeah, let's get one from AJ. Anybody else who hasn't had one? Yeah, let's get him. Um, guys, for some reason, I'm I'm just not feeling well. Um, I've been having some reactions to some medication lately. Oh no! Um, yeah. My blood sugar been dropping at times, and I've been like working a lot lately. Yeah, it's too much. Work, and um, for some reason, I'm, it just kind of started hitting me a while ago. I feel like lightheaded. Oh no! So let's just get uh, a couple okay. more, and I apologize, right. everybody. We'll get a couple more from those who haven't put in a request yet. Okay, so AJ Smith. Uh, yeah, let's go uh, with the only AJ one that I haven't got yet. Uh, we have uh, Lima Whiskey Alpha 101. Ooh, Libyan Wings. Going with the uh, the Libya. Yeah. Um, John Gibson going in here too. Libyan Wings. I've never heard of Libyan Wings. No. It's a it's a eight three nineteen. Another Libyan airline, huh? Yeah. Istanbul. Nice. Oh, that looks that looks weird for it. the three nineteen because it's got it's got the English below and the yeah well one language on the top. But I think they uh, did a little bit better job with their um, livery than the other um, the other Libyan airline did. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Gibson. It's cool. It's cool. Welcome, John Gibson. By the way. Hey, John. How are you? He's got one too, so we'll get. The yeah, John. we'll we'll get we'll get the one from John, and then we'll uh, All right. then we'll kind of wrap up here in a bit. Okay. Uh, for John Gibson, we got um, Alpha Foxtrot Lima, uh, Alpha. one seven. Foxtrot Lima. Lima, one seven one two. Another Aeroflot. 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 Aero floating. We're aero floating tonight. Yeah. Listening to some air. Wait, is this the same one as earlier? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's weird. Really? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Oops. It's all right. Okay. Well. Well right. then. Uh, we're no not gonna worries. do that again. Okay. Uh, no, that's all right. Do we have any new? I don't think there's any new people, but uh, we'll just keep going as a couple. Aero more. floating with Aerosmith. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, next one. Uh, where we got to go back a little bit. Hold on. Okay, did we cover everybody? Has everybody at least? I think so. We, did we get bad? We got bad dog once or did, twice. Uh, I know got, John just came in. Did John was that John was John's that he just put in there? The uh, the one that we just uh, the one that I just. Hey said. John, if why don't you try another one? Because I think Alvinor gave us that one before, or was that yeah. yours? Um, yeah, uh, we're gonna call it a night here soon. I'm uh, I'm not feeling well. Um. Let me see if, uh, hold on, there's anything that I missed. And I do apologize. I feel bad that tonight's j show has been a little bit of a drag. Um, yeah, I think between medication and I've just been working some long oh, right, hours. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, 
Let me see. Make if sure I'm we not... get anybody else, and we'll chat for a few more minutes after. I'm not just not going to cut everybody off. Okay. But it's good uh, to see you, John. I don't see any other ones that were new people. There's one from Bad Dog. There's one from Ramona, which she had a couple. Yep. Uh, Kevin R had a couple. <laughs> um, All right. Did that's... anybody not get a turn? Let us Ozzie know in the Pete? chat. Is Ozzy Pete still here? Uh, I think I don't see. I him. don't know if he's here. I I scrolled up a little bit. He might have had to leave. I I well I know uh today was his birthday, so he might be out celebrating. Oh, all right, yeah. Yeah, I don't see anybody else putting anything else. All right. In. Well, we will. Uh, let's go ahead and end the flight tracking for tonight, right. and uh, we'll chat for a few more minutes. Okay. And um, yeah. So. So. Anyways, I uh, those who don't know, I work for a church, and obviously we have Easter coming up on Sunday. Yes, so a church is Easter is even. I would say, like for us, it it can even be a somewhat uh, bigger than Christmas time of year. Um, Kevin R feels like his passport is full of stamps with all the flight tracking. <laughs> hey, I get to go to places I've never been before via flight tracking. But um, sure. anyway, so yeah, it's been um, the past several weeks have been past couple weeks have been just really busy for me working some late nights, and um, I was up at. What time, Michael, was I doing the script for the show last night? Like at 11 o'clock, 11.30? 11 or 12, was pretty late, yeah. And then I went to bed, and I was up at 5 o'clock this morning, and oh, I started man. working at 6.30 or 6.45 oh, from my that. desk right here for my, you know, for my uh, job. So it's uh, it's been yeah, some it's long weeks, so. But, um, but yeah, every now and then, um, just, just so you guys know, just some weight loss medication I'm taking. Every now and then it just affects my blood sugar a little bit where it drops so i think that's what's happening but anyways uh, i don't want to be a too much of a drag but you know i always okay. i always really enjoy doing this show tornado um, time it's what? just fun <laughs> oh <laughs> what is that about hey speaking of tornadoes <laughs> tornado time what is going on tornado time tell us about tornado what is that about? it's just like little long tacos Taquitos. Oh, 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 those kind of tornadoes. I, think, yeah, I was okay. like, I was like, man, NorCal getting tornadoes. Or okay, so check this. We get water spout NorCal getting tornadoes. So check this out. So, um, so uh, I got out of work a little early today, um, and I had to pick up a grocery order to bring home. And oh, um, there's a uh, Chevron. Um, what do they call their? I don't know their Mini Mart thing. And on the window, it they had tornadoes on special. When I saw them, I thought of you, Sal. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I should go in and get some tornadoes for Sal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, like um, I used to get tornadoes at, um, Sal, you might know this place. It's on Highway 99 in Madeira, the pilot. Yes. Truck stop. When we used to, uh, when we used to race, we would go through there and we'd always used to stop there. Um, Oh, I see just to use there. a restroom and get snacks or whatever. I, sometimes I get tornadoes to nice. eat. I see yeah, what they are. Okay, they're like a taquito. They're, yeah, they're like a taquito, yeah. A better yeah, so. taquito. <laughs> yeah. yeah like I see queso beef. But I eat my corn dogs with hot sauce. Don't judge. You, nice. Wait, wait, you put you put hot do uh, hot sauce on your corn dogs? Yeah, instead of instead of uh, instead of um mustard. You know how people put your mustard or ketchup? Right, and, right. Put hot sauce. Yep. Cool. Hey, Allison's here. Hi, Allison. Unfortunately, you're catching us at the end of the show here Hello. in a few minutes. But, um, but you know, I want to thank everybody. Um, not that we're ending this moment, but just like for always showing up and coming on here and having a good time with us. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys would take time just to hang out with us. And, you know, everybody's, I'm sure, busy and has their own lives, but... You know, you guys are always willing to carve out an hour or two to hang out and just talk about planes and track planes and stuff. So, and, um, you know, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate everybody who comes on here. So, and um, appreciate the support. And, um, you know, like I said, this is just my hobby. I'm not, you know, this is what I do for fun outside of, um, outside of my, you know, my day job, my career. 
Someone was asking when you're streaming Cell at LAX. I think Karen. Yeah, Ooh. Cell, tell us. Yeah. Tomorrow? Tomorrow and Saturday. Oh, really? <laughs> Dude, you're a madman. Tomorrow and Saturday? Hey, What's going uh, on Saturday? Wait, if, if I'm crazy, um, I won't say it, but there'll be signs. <laughs> ah, <all right. laughs> so tomorrow and Saturday, you're at LAX. <laughs> Saturday, yeah. oh, is is the rain? That's right. <laughs> uh, hopefully, I don't know how it's gonna go. Uh, it's like half rain. an inch or so. It, oh, it he's, it he's going for the shock factor. How shock bad is factor. the wind? Is the question because if it's just raining and no wind is probably not gonna be like. Crazy. Well, if if I made it to the San Francisco the other day when we had like wind sheared and and like forty mile per hour gusts, yeah, I, I think, think it would be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then Sunday, you're at SFO. Huh? You uh, SFO on Sunday for Easter? Or are you taking the day off? Uh, for Easter, maybe Sunday, maybe SFO. Yes, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know. It's all up in the air. <laughs> it's up in the and air. then next week we'll see where you're at and what's up. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I know you don't plan. Sometimes you don't plan out too far ahead, but for next I, week, well, I guess I we'll just play. have to see what you're up to and what's going on, huh? I yeah, plan it off. You know uh, how I, how like what what's coming in and like how I feel. Yeah. Sometimes. And sometimes you might have a trick up your sleeve or two, huh? Yeah, sometimes, you know. You might have a trick or two up your sleeve is what I meant to say. You know what I was looking at, Sal? I was looking at the traffic at Santa Barbara because I'm going to be, like, going up that way in July. I was like, you going? Uh, I'm going to um, off the uh, the one highway to a wedding over there uh, south of uh, Big Sur a little bit. So I was Ooh. looking at Santa Barbara just to see that how much traffic there was. Uh, it's not much. There's a couple flights in the middle of the day, but it's really slow. Uh, they have a couple A320s, mostly E175. Yeah. And one 321, I think. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nothing crazy. They said, share the picture, dude. With, yeah. No, share the picture with us. Bring it. Uh, send it to Steve. That way we can see him. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's July, though, so a little while. <laughs> or you could do a live <laughs> stream there, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do a live yeah. stream. You know what? You're not too. You're not. You're not too. Uh, you're not too off. Yeah. Not who's not too off about what? Uh, Vince S. What was he saying? Hold on. I was looking at that show. So I'm gonna end up at Anchorage. <laughs> you never know. So is the reverse ops at LAX depends on the wind, right? Not more than the rain, I think. Yeah, it was a combo, I guess. Because they had reverse ops with no rain before, like one time, and I was like, "This is weird." The wind was coming from a different direction. Yeah, it's an, like sometimes, like if the, the Santa Ana winds hits the right the right way, they they could be on the reverse. Yeah, ops. it gets real windy. Yeah. yeah. John Opa. Gibson giving you a little Opa. Greek uh, shot out there. <laughs> yeah, John. Opa. <laughs> uh, nobody, nobody gives us a Mexican one, Sal. So. Hey, what? Nobody gives us a Mexican <laughs> shout out. <laughs> <laughs> we get we didn't get no orales or nothing like that. <laughs> Where's Kevin Arwin? Invite, <laughs> invite uh, X. Yeah, <laughs> I've invited I've invited him, but um, he has uh, declined for now, which I totally understand. <laughs> what? Vince has a question. Did we find out who Gary the Gopher is? You'll need to ask Brian SFO. Uh, That's his BFF. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. loves Gary. Jose oh, likes okay. the, the new Condor. All right. There we go. Kevin R. gave us um, a, a Mexican shout out. All right. Well, my friends, I think we're going to call it a night a little early. Right. And uh, thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for um, just chilling with us and being here. I don't know when our, I know our next show will be in a couple weeks. I just don't have an exact date yet. Um, so just kind of keep your eyes glued to the community page um, I've been trying to use that more to get announcements out and post little things here and there so just keep your eyes peeled uh, on the community page um, in the next uh, week or two and I'll have um, the schedule for April shows and um, yeah so All everybody right. thank you so much and uh, thank you for being here tonight and um we like i said i really do appreciate it and uh hope everybody who celebrates easter yeah and good friday that you uh and have a enjoy it yeah, enjoy easter and, everybody. Um, enjoy easter and good friday i'll have a good week coming up and hope you all have a good night or good afternoon a good morning wherever you're at 
And we are going to say sayonara and adios. And I apologize for those who are just coming in. We're ending a little early tonight. But don't worry. We'll be back in a couple weeks. And for John all right. Yasu, which is Sal, Michael, Michael, Lady Cat, thank you so much for always uh, being a part of the show. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Sayonara and adios. Signing off.